In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, amen. My dignity as a person made by God and my generational bloodline having come by steerage to get to the United States and also, you know, my relatives, my one of my great-grandfathers, seven greats, was George Washington's bodyguard, John Stafford. And then when you look at my grandmother, Roscoff's side goes back to Doty, who was a servant coming over on the Mayflower. My relatives from Czechoslovakia escaping communism, coming one lady coming steerage, not once but three times. She actually went back to Czechoslovakia and her relative said, no, 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 you have to go back, you know, to the U.S. So she actually went on steerage three, not once but three times. Unbelievable. But anyway, uh, for Father Sliva not to respect the soul God has made in me, uh, not even of my own, you know, knowledge, because he unites that soul against the soul's own will, if you would say it that way. Of course, our will is that people be born, but we cannot ourselves will ourselves. It's ultimately the Lord's decision. He is the author of life. And he unites the soul and the body with particular gifts and functions. And if Father Sleva doesn't recognize that, the nationality of people, his uh, need to serve the American people by not taking positions of power over them, asserting that he's not American, that he has not taken oaths to the U.S. Constitution, Bill of Rights, or Declaration of Independence, that he has no jurisdiction and that he shouldn't be lording himself over the American people, selling real estate land and kicking them out, telling them they can't play in their gifting in the church choirs and things. I mean, this is Freemasonry to the max. This is the, the, the New World Order in the church. This is the deep church at our door in North Idaho.